What your dad looked like. <laughs> Kiss my ass. He's got, although I'm covering up his picture with my own, I can see a patch pop in there every once in a while. So. Oh, yeah. Got the patch on it. There you go. <laughs> Where's Shithead? Which one? Manhattan. Fucking road warrior. Well, he he spends a couple months in the sticks in Pennsylvania. All of a sudden, he's a fuck. Not back in a motorcycle in a road warrior, not the one that gets hit in the head with the fucking boomerang. <laughs> oh, the Lord Humongous. That was it. All right, it's showtime. It's gonna, hey Tim, it's gonna go dark and quiet here for about thirty seconds. No worries, we'll be uh, we'll be right back. Stand by. We're gonna be going live in three, two, one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday night. It is March 8th, and it Yay! is Friday night roundtable. This Hooray. is The Spaniard keeping it tight, and we got a great show lined for you tonight. We have a veteran-owned business owner, Tim Hickey of Patch Ops, is with us tonight, and we're uh, we're going to go to him here in a little bit. Uh, but before we, uh, we check in with him, we're going to go around the table and check in with everybody. We're going to start off with Stately Ogre Manor with Ogre. Well, hey, how you doing? Doing all right. Uh, sorry, about, sorry about Monday. I got a little... A little backed up. No, nah, no worries. <laughs> For anybody that catches the Friday show. That's nasty. Me and yeah, so. Spaniard and Doc do a show on Monday. You should check yeah. it out. It's check Monday, it. 7 p.m. Central. Uh, what's going on? Just working, getting by, waiting to get by with, get to uh, spring break, and not sure what's going on with my hair, and Double O has disappeared. And, uh, hey, going. I really got nothing. Just, uh, you know. It's been it's been a busy week. You get to, you get closer to spring break and uh and bus drivers get crazy. Yeah, I can imagine. People yeah. are tired of looking at each other. Bus around. <laughs> Very nice. Very cool. All right. Well since Doc since double O left, we'll hopefully he'll come back. We'll go to Doc. He had Doc. Of this shit. Yeah, he got pissed. Yo, off. what is up? Mm. You know what? What's what's going on in the PA? Uh, not much really. No, just same old shit, different day. My wife is watching a lot of um, CSI files or forensic files, and yeah. I'm getting kind of worried about it. Really? Uh-oh. Yeah. She takes. So if notes. I disappear suddenly, yeah. Investigate that for me, please. Okay. All right. Right on. Very cool. All right. Is uh, Double O you back? You with us again? Think so, man. I don't. Right, yeah, there we go. Just, I don't just know what happened. He's got a you new need mic. To come so. down a little yeah, bit. Yeah. No, not the, not the, not the is screen. That, you know what? You, Audio. You, you, you give a black man a mic, and this is what happens. <laughs> See, there, there it is. He said it, folks. Is, Very cool. So you doing good? Is that good enough? Is that yeah, good? man. You're All doing right. good. Can everybody hear me? It is currently uh, 9.03 right now. And uh, yes, I do have a new mic. And I'm going to use the fuck out this bitch, okay? See, there you go. Um, Double O's in Naptown, baby. You know I'm giving it to you. Um, I don't really have a drink of the evening. Well, yeah, I guess I do have a drink of the evening. But it'll be gone by the time we're done. Um, So, shit, whoever is out there, if y'all got some drink suggestions, you know, let me have them. I'm not going to fucking use them, but you can let me have them anyway. 1,000. Very cool. Yeah, very nice. Beautiful. All right. Well, very cool. I um, well, I'm going to welcome our guest. Uh, if you guys haven't uh, catched us lately, we are trying to get new and interesting guests. Last week we had a paranormal uh, investigator, another Marine, uh, on the show, and this week we have a uh, business owner by the name of Tim, uh, the owner of Patch Ops, uh, PatchOps.com. Welcome to the show, Tim. Yay! Yo, what's up, Tim? Yay! Thank right. you, guys. So first. First, tell us uh, where you where are you coming well where you where you're from and uh, what branch did you serve? Um, I am a heavy machine gunner from Cleveland, Ohio, Marine Corps. Ooh, um, so I'm yeah, Semper Fi, sent Semper Fi. And we are um, Marine deep tonight. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unlike yeah, that so one I'm... lonely Navy cat down there. What 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 branch of the service were you in again, Doc? Yeah, I, I was a, a corpsman. I was Marine. Oh, oh you were. Really? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh-huh. For you, Doc. So we got sure. we got much love for the corpsman, that's for sure. Yacht. Yeah. So tell yacht, us yacht. about 
tell us a little bit about your company. When uh, tell us about first, tell us a little bit about what it is. What what you, what is it? Well, Patch Ops is a um, we make we make PVC morale patches. So this is um, the food service specialist patch. So we make them in PVC. Um, the way we kind of got started was one of my buddies owns a patch company, NEO Tactical Gear. And I wanted a uh, 0331 patch for myself, so I had one made for me. And um, I had to make like 25 or 50 of them, so I had to pass them out to all my friends. Wow, yeah. <laughs> so once I passed them out to all my friends, everybody liked them, and they kept asking, they kept asking, and other people, other MOS kept asking. So I um, set out the trek to get the Marine Corps trademark license, um, which I obtained last year, last June. So... Uh, then everything's been rolling ever since. So yeah. that's um, basically the ins and outs of it. Uh, a lot of people, especially Marines, a little bit newer to the patch uh, community, so there wasn't a whole lot of shit out there for Marines. So I wanted to make sure that we had some stuff and uh, that our corpsmen are being taken care of as well because yeah. uh, all of us grunts have a very special spot in our hearts for our docs. So um, not only because they give us IVs when we're hungover, but they keep us warm at night as well. Right, Doc? <laughs> oh, yeah. We also bring the silver bullets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Sounded like the <laughs> gayest shit I've ever heard. Yeah. Just, Just need motor and water. <laughs> Change your socks, socks occasionally. You'll be all right. Cure us AIDS. <laughs> yeah, like I said, every orange pill I see, I always always assume it's Motrin. So I don't know. I just uh, <laughs> I should read I should read what I take from now on. Who knows, <laughs> man? Yeah. So Tim, what? Uh, how long have you been uh, have you been from going at this? I guess when did you first start this? Um. Well, Patch Ops is about a little bit. It officially launched last June, but um, I guess in December would would have been our exact one year uh, mark. But um, so just a little bit over a year that we've been doing this, but so far so good. We're, uh, we do a lot of custom work, so um, we sent our patches now to South Korea, um, Japan, England, Hungary. Um, so we kind of hit the ground running. I was uh, pretty lucky because my buddy who owns a patch company has uh, been at it for about five years. He just um, didn't have the same niche in going towards the Marine stuff, and he's not a veteran. Um, so I kind of walked into somebody who uh, was able to teach me um, and had everything set up um, as far as dealing with the factories and stuff like that. So I got pretty lucky in that aspect. But um, networking through the veteran community has definitely um, helped everything. Okay. Uh, what, take off pretty well. What's one of the biggest uh, networks that's been working for you? Um, well, I use a lot of Facebook. So honestly, like the Facebook groups and the Facebook pages um, – I'm a, an admin on a large Marine Facebook page, so that uh, obviously helps. That one's called Marine. Um, we got like 81,000 followers, so that uh, networking through that helps a little bit. And then the Facebook groups um, have been a big help. Then Instagram, so all the social media, like really, I mean, if you think back um, into our grandparents' age, like when they uh, went into the military with somebody, they just never saw them again. Um, yeah. Once we got out, because we they weren't connected through the phones and through social media like we are now. Now, the, like we can be as connected as we want to be. So, um, one of the cooler parts about patch ops is one of uh, a marine that I served with now lives over in Shanghai, and he's been able to look into some of the factories and stuff that uh, we first started exploring. So, it's yeah. uh it's kind of cool. Like the the world is a small place. The Marine Corps is even smaller. Um, is the way that we've always looked at it. So it's been kind of cool to, to incorporate um, people like that in, involved in it as well. Wow, Did you say you're an administrator of a Facebook page for yeah. Marines, and the page is called Marine? Yeah, that's okay. right. I guess you want to keep it pretty simple there. Hey, that, that's an acronym. I'm also a grunt, so i got to keep it extra simple. Make, extra make, simple. Sure, make, make, sure they, make sure they know what they're looking for. <laughs> It's got a page called Marine. For Marine. <laughs> Marine. There it is. <laughs> well, yeah, but you're always gonna you're always gonna get one joker that comes on. It's gonna say, yeah, I have a, uh, a, a 275 horsepower uh, Evan Rube that needs some work done. Uh, do you? Uh, do you uh, <laughs> that you kind know, of Marine. That kind that kind of Marine, right? Because you know you know they're out there. Yeah. So do you have patches for all the MLSs? Um, I'm kind of like growing into it, so I don't. I do have an 8404, though, um, 
uh, that's the FMF Corman for everybody who didn't know. So the MOS is going to get a little bit of cancer, Stan. <laughs> yes, welcome if you got them. The MOSs have been, um, I've kind of done them by request because what I found out is one, man, my fucking, com my uh, recruiter left out a lot of freaking options. <laughs> no when shit. I walked into his office, it was like 03 or nothing. Um, so that was infantry or nothing. So uh, I didn't know that a lot of these existed. Um, so the other part of that is. It really, it's not the active duty uh, people who are buying MOS patches. That's a little too moto for them. Um, so it's the veterans, and a lot of the MOSs for the Marines have been like discontinued and shit like that. So we've been able to take some of the ones that the older generation hasn't been able to find and do them so that um, they have those. So some of the MOSs that I've done are discontinued, but I've been doing them mainly by request. Nice. Do you do Army stuff? Navy, airport. Yeah, I can. It's just uh, reaching that type of market is a little bit harder. Like, I can reach the Marine market because I'm a Marine, so I um, like to think I know what other Marines like sometimes. But uh, reaching, like, especially the approach that I've been doing it now through social media, like, I don't know why the Army and the Navy and the Air Force don't like Marines in their Facebook groups, but um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. pull their women a little closer when we start coming around. So <laughs> I don't get to go in those groups like I do in all the Marine groups. Well, well, the other thing too is maybe their their page name is way too long. You know, like they, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was gonna say. It I Army can't, can't read. It, so. <laughs> Didn't I read something about that the uh, Army was doing away with unit patches? Was that anybody yeah, I did else read come that. across it? Yeah. That was in the Army Times, I thought last last month about their they're getting rid of. Uh, well, they were talking about it. I, I don't know. Yeah. Man, a lot of a lot of the Army guy, Army dogs are saying, man, that's that's just part of history, man. You can't get rid of those those insignias yeah, on, on your uniforms, man. I mean, right, I don't know anything about them. Marines but... will have them for the next fifty years then, if the Army is just now getting rid of them. So. Yeah, I mean that's that's crazy, man. I don't know. We just crazy. use leftovers like we've been doing, man. <laughs> so if um. So Tim, if if people wanted to uh, to reach you and get uh, and order uh, some of your patch uh, your patches, what's the best way for them to uh, to get out to you or to reach you? Uh, my email address is tim at patchops.com. That's pretty easy. But um, on patchops.com is uh, you can connect with us right through our um, website. We have a Facebook page at patchops. Instagram is at patch operations because some. Um, dude has at patch ops. I don't know what the fuck he's doing with it. But... I think that's something else. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't even want to know. And then on Twitter, we're at patch ops as well. Um, again, and I, we do custom stuff. That's probably the, the biggest um, market for us is making uh, logos for any of the tactical gear into into our PVC patches. So that's pretty cool. See a black black. Have you guys ever seen a mold? Since I have one sitting right here, this uh, PVC patch mold. Damn. Oh, a mold! Wow. I couldn't get them uh, together. This is a 3381 and a 0331. Would have been too much work for me to uh, match it up. But they, um, this is what the mold looks like. So PVC, when it's a patch, it's a liquid drip machine. So it's actually a liquid when it goes into the mold. So that's why the smaller quantities on PVC patches are a little bit more expensive. Um, but technically, we don't have a minimum. So. That um, definitely sets us apart, and then having our attention to detail and um, actual standards that us as veterans, we all hold ourselves to, for the most part, um, a little bit higher of a standard, so our quality is a little bit better. I'm not so of them, that is my, my patch op stuff. Uh-oh. Now, is this, I'm going to be sharing the screen, is this your is this your site here? That is it. That's nice. it. All right. So if anybody would yeah. like to go and check out some of Tim's patches, here's the website right here, patchops.com. Uh, this is how I found them. In fact, that's it's funny how you said that because I, I think I was uh, on one of those uh, Facebook Marine pages, and that's how I found you. They had posted, yeah, if you own a business, go ahead and you know sound off, and that's how I found you. So uh, that's nice. how I reached out to you. So this 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 works. I mean, the whole social media thing is like you, like you said before, back in the day of you know our grandparents, they didn't they didn't have this kind of networking available. So. Uh, so here you go, folks. If you want to get some of those patches, this is the place, uh, this is the website to go to. If you're yeah. looking for uh, some Facebook groups to look into, you should look into Crayola. They have about like 2.6 million followers. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of those are Marines. 
Now, see, I get a lot. I get. I hear that because I, you know, I do another uh, local radio show, and some of these older guys keep, would ask me. He's like, "Hey, you're a marine. What is this crayon thing? Is uh, what's this crayon thing about?" And I'm like, "You know what? I'm I'm a little out of the loop too." Tim, do you know? Can you can you shed uh, shed uh, shed some light on this whole crayon thing in marines? It's after me, man. It's after me. Yeah. See, I I, I thought so too. So. Yeah, I don't know if it's a newer generation or yeah. I don't want to date us all there, but yeah, it's a, it's definitely a little bit. Yeah, newer. guys are old as fuck. Yeah, whatever, man. Fuck it. That's toothpaste <laughs> in my beard. <laughs> this is just spray paint. Yeah. Right down. It's all. Uh, <laughs> all right. So there you have it. All right. Do we have any? Uh, I, mean, I don't know if I haven't been tracking with Rajesh if we had any um, any questions or comments yet. But if anybody does, nope. go ahead and chime in. Uh, the topic now for tonight is military housing uh, or off-base housing. There was a story, uh, I'm too lazy to, to bring it back up, but there was a story that was uh, discussed about how these military, uh, off either off-base, on-base, are now being run by civilian-run companies, and the they're just shitholes, pretty much. They're finding lead, a lot of mold, even asbestos and some of these things, and these are families. We're talking military personnel and their children are starting to get sick. So um, I'm going to be talking about a little bit about that today amongst you know, anything else that pops up. So if anybody has had any experience, you know, working or working, living uh, in any of uh, off-base housing or on-base housing uh, provided by the, by the military you were in, um, go ahead and chime in. We're going to be talking about that. But the only stories that I've ever heard, I was single. You know, I was always single when I when I was in and – I, I would just hear some of the, the the little bit of war stories of how small they were. You know, they were just, you know, if you're a, 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 not an NCO or, or, you know, I guess up to a staff NCO, the, the, the selection wasn't that great. And, we, and they were, they were small little type bungalow looking things. So not, not, not very much to look at. Now the officer's quarters, of course, you know, they looked a little bit different, but, um, I was on Camp Lejeune, and I don't know, everything was, ran it was all one level, so it was very hard to kind of have some imagination, I guess, to some of these houses, but I never heard of anybody getting sick, um, but then again, Camp Lejeune also had that water issue back in the 80s, and people got sick from that, so yeah, we're not out of the woods, man, just because you're you're safe at home, living on living on, on, on base or off base doesn't mean you're out of the woods, so I don't know. I'm, and, I'm, and and then they want you to fucking clean it up like spick and span when you fucking leave and shit. Yeah, well, yeah, mean, exactly. Really. Mold too? Yeah. yeah, let me hold on. Let me let me get a sandblast or let me get something or <laughs> I mean, I, I was on uh I was on the June back in You are going to give the year. Ooh, gutsy. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll give a fucking year. Fuck that shit. Uh but yeah, I I was in on the June, but I never I never stayed. I bought a house. But yeah. I was a senior NCO, so I had people up underneath me. A couple of people had, you know, they were in the barracks, but I had two married couples. And, man, they, they're they small, shit's breaking down all the time. And then, you know, a big base like that, you put in a work request or something like that, and it's like six months to a year just to get the fucking shit done, even if it's fucking like a screen or some shit. You know, oh, I know. That's what they're saying, too. That, well, that's that's taking... the complete opposite of the experience that I had. Tell us, Doc. Well, tell us, yeah, Doc. Tell I us had, what uh, you had. I had base housing in Spain, and oh, our experience was really great. Really... The house was large. It was much larger than what we actually needed. And everything worked right. It was clean. But what? And... Wait, wait. Was it, was it run by the Navy, or was it run by Spain? It was run by um, run by Spain. <laughs> um, civilian, drug, you know, Spanish, Spanish civilians uh, hired work. by the U.S. government. I, I see. So was it like a condo or an actual house? No, it was an actual house. Like a Spanish style? Uh, not really. It was on base, but it was yeah. kind of Spanish style because of the location, obviously. Yeah. But everything was great. I mean, we had we had some mold come up. We we made a phone call. They came out, cleaned it up, painted over it. Yeah, it was all good. That's how you get rid of mold is paint. Yeah, bleach it and paint over it. Yeah. Well, all right, there you go. Fucking A. Right on. Man, we have I, a lot I, of women I, watching today. We have Angela watching. Jill, Jill, hello. Welcome hey to girl, the show. Hey, girl. Hey. Linda is watching. <laughs> hey, Man, girl. We got, uh, it's ladies' night tonight. <laughs> is know? it? 
Yeah. Yeah. If you're just joining us, we uh, we are talking with uh, we have our guest Tim from PatchOps.com, and we're talking about, I guess, just in general housing. I I just remember you know, my days on the barracks. I lived on the third on the third deck, you know, and we would always throw shit off and to see, you know, have contests or races, what would hit the, what, which would hit the deck first or <laughs> wrap people up in mattresses and throw them over the railing. Oh, man, we did some stupid shit in the barracks, man. I mean, there, there was one time where we saran wrapped all the, all the Is toilets. Is Tim frozen or did he fall asleep? No, I'm sorry. No, he's there. <laughs> he's oh, there. Okay. He, he, he kind of looked like he was sleeping he there. He got froze. <laughs> like you're drifting off there for a second. <laughs> yeah. I bore people sometimes, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I, I, I had I had a great time. We used to, They used to say you're not supposed to drink in the barracks, but I don't know if that's still the case because we always drink. I've never heard that before. Yeah. They said that. Drink. Yeah. You, and you were in, you were in uh, North Carolina? On yeah. The third deck? No you drinking know, in the barracks? Yeah, if you were under age. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, dude, it was, it was like a damn, it was like a damn campus i mean it was like a fraternity every floor had, well, yeah. had different people and it was it was just a, a party every week and yeah I, I it sucked know. when i was in tennessee you said about being underage i made the mistake of telling somebody i was like 22 and the next thing you know every goddamn night i'm taking a fucking order going over to get out of here the first, liquor man. store it's like hey, give me this and give me this and here's something i'm like all right go and write someone's got, orders and now they just deliver your machine. liquor these days some some stores you had machines tim Oh hell yeah! We converted the pop machine into a beer machine, so it was a dollar a beer. <laughs> that's incredible! Wow. We did that that's... in Cali. We, we did that in Cali. <laughs> wow. Camp Del Mar. They I know. Oh, oh man, that was another. See, I was, Were you guys able to go on both sides, like or not both sides, but uh, on both I'm coasts? Not a switch hitter. Yeah, yeah no, on both coasts, East Coast, West Coast, or were you strictly? I, one I did side? schooling in in Cali, and then my first duty station was New Orleans. For like three Damn. years. Okay. Ooh. Gross. And I'm I'm like 19 in New Orleans, so Gross. I'm like <laughs> fucking drunk every every day. I mean, nothing's Let's changed go. now, obviously, but obviously, I mean, you know, you got your priorities set. Now, Tim, Absolutely. were you always from uh, from Ohio? Who me? Ever since I was no, born. Yeah, I was. Um, yeah. Ever since I was born, I was from here. Um, so you the, went to the island then? Yeah, I went to Paris Island, and then I. But I got. <laughs> Being from Cleveland, I got guaranteed West Coast. Like, I didn't know that 29 Palms existed. Yeah. I thought, like, the whole yeah. West Coast was all, like, palm trees and um, all beachfront. But, uh, <laughs> beachfront. So, beaches, I wonder why everyone laughed right when I chose, like, guaranteed West Coast 29 Palms. They're like, oh. You got excited. And I got out there and realized it was all beach. I'm surprised <laughs> you didn't blow your head off out there. Man. I, you know what, though? It was centrally located. It was three hours from... Vegas. Yeah, that, that, that's that's the that's what everyone says. Everyone that I've met from Twenty Nine Palms, like, oh, we're centrally located. It was great. Yeah, you guys were in the shithole of the Marine Corps. It, it was uh, it was all live fire. That was another positive thing. So that, oh yeah, so you can't go wrong well, with that. We were out there quite often with artillery. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Good time. But see, I I would Palms. prefer I would prefer West Coast because the not, I mean, nothing against the East Coast, but, man, Camp Lejeune was – those you know, July, August was just yeah. – I don't know. I just – I was just was not comfortable, man, just not comfortable. And then the, all the ticks and the sand fleas, you know, I'm, I'm very sensitive. I'm, I was I was so used to California, man. I was going to the beach and learning how to surf, and next thing you know, I got orders to go to Camp Lejeune. I'm like, fuck, man, I didn't even get yeah. a chance to damn surf. <laughs> I was kind of bummed. That's right. Oh, well. Yeah. That's what would we could do, do now. Would you do, do it again? That. Would you do it again? And Ogre joined the again? Navy, and he yeah. went to oh, Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of water in Tennessee. He went, he went to the center. Yeah. Uh, NAS. Now, Tim, we had a question that came up here. Now, is this? do you do patchops.com full-time, or is this? Um, how, how much time do you commit to your business? Um, well, it's patchops is really like a 24-hour-a-day um, thing because I always – uh, make sure that I'm responding to everything almost immediately when I get messages. And since um, our followings from all over the world, like it, so it happens 24 hours, but patch ops is actually a, a DBA for my main company, which is United sales. Um, so I have that part of it. Um, and my wife is involved with patch ops as well. So we, um, 
I want to say it's uh, it's not quite the full time full time where we have to do other things, but it's trending in that direction. So hopefully in the next year, when we started this, it was a, a five year plan, and we're in um, we're we're almost to our first full full year. So wow, we're, pretty good. We're yeah. on a pretty good trajectory. Yeah, very nice. There so so is there like a a num like if somebody wanted to order something, hey, you have to order a minimum a minimum of like twenty patches, or is it something yeah. that People you know, on. technically, we don't have a minimum, but every design, even if we change one letter on something, we have to make a whole new mold. So um, just to do one patch, like the mold fee is usually anywhere between, you know, 50 and $75. So, um, uh, or it could get more depending on how detailed the mold or the patch is. So when you get into that and just doing one patch, like you could have a $100 patch. Right. You still have to do the mold fee. But um, usually when you start seeing the first price breaks are around a quantity of 25. So that's usually what we tell people to do. But um, if somebody really wanted one bad enough or to recreate it for personal reasons bad enough, I'm sure that um, money's not an object to everybody like it is to me. So um, I know well, I'm you, not you talk to a bunch of Marines. Hell yeah, money's not an object. Are you fucking like our whole, serious? Our whole audience is... is uh, in the same financial bracket, so oh, yeah. yeah, I've been sipping on this same beer for like three weeks, man. I'm oh, I know, man. Fucking break. It's it's flat as shit. I'm trying that to... that in the winter, man. It feels like I've been cooped up, and it's today was the first day we actually kind of kind of got a chance to break out, man. It feels like I felt like I was in a cave for like two months. So yeah, well, I know the were. feeling. It was, it was got up to thirty eight. Woohoo! Yeah, I was almost in shorts, man. I'm telling you, careful. My dog was happy. She was she was going to town. So um, so all right, Tim, for, like for fun now. Now we're gonna we're gonna switch gears here and talk about you know outside of business. What is you what do you do for fun outside? Um, well, I have a family, but I'm I'm also a part of a charity. So I know it seems like a weird thing to do for fun, but uh, it's a charity founded by Marines called the Sub Zero Mission. Um, so that's subzeromission.org. But uh, we take um, warming items out to the unsheltered homeless. So. Um, like winter that. hats, boots, gloves, coats, sleeping bags, um, and we go out into the camps. I'm the veteran coordinator for the Sub-Zero mission, so I am directly trying to get the veterans that we find off the streets. So that's um, between that and our patch stuff and having two kids, that uh, takes about all my time, but I'm passionate about all of them. So yeah. uh, if I'm not at a metro park, which is – most of the time when it's not freezing cold out here, but I'm in Cleveland, so <laughs> this winter yeah. is freaking dragging on and on. I'm but you, um, we go um, take we like to hang out with our kids quite a bit. They're uh, 12 and 9. Um, they're actually part of Patch Ops too. They're volunteers though, because we still have child labor laws apparently. So, yeah, fuck um, that. They do go. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> they volunteer all the time. Um, and then yeah, doing the Sub Zero Mission stuff is really um, probably the biggest thing that I, I like to uh, spend my time doing because it's got a little bit of fulfillment, but you're also part of a mission, and uh, every just about everybody involved um, with all the volunteers and stuff are veterans as well. Um, although it was started by a couple of Marines, now every branch is involved. So um gives some of us uh, a refocus to have some shit to do and um, have a mission of making sure nobody freezes to death. So that's been pretty cool. Yeah. That, that is cool. From Angela Bond here saying, uh, awesome sauce. That's amazing and very selfless. So she applauds your Thank contribution you, to society. <laughs> it's always weird when someone says something like that. You're like, uh, Thank you. I think, I think that's just what Marines do. Thank you for do. saying that. Uh, yeah. but we, Marines, we just you know, I, above I, and beyond. Man. I mean, truly, yeah, I wish more people were like you instead of just being the, the armchair quarterback and saying, oh, we should do more for veterans. But you're you're actually out there doing stuff uh, for veterans. So and I, I that's do exactly, actually appreciate that. And thank that's you. That's exactly what it is, too. Because you, if you sit in, around and you wait for the government to take care of a problem, you're going to be waiting forever. Like, yep. we all learn yeah. that in our respective times in the military. And if you want – if you want change, you got to be the change. And instead of sitting there saying, hey, man, we got a problem with this veteran homelessness, like, yeah, I want to get up and do something about it because saying that we got a problem isn't doing anything at all. But actually offering a solution doesn't do anything, but actually applying a solution and trying to get out and showing that and doing it um, on your own is a big deal for all of us and all of us as veterans. And we, 
we uh we don't need to wait around to for somebody to tell us to to take care of a problem with you oh know. man spot on because you know what i'd rather do it on my own because then we fucking actually take care of the problem we don't have exactly to right. some weird red tape to uh get to the solution very nice yeah because you know what i i think i think we've had enough of the whole <laughs> awareness i think we're aware of yeah. the veteran homelessness pop, you know. So now problem. what do we do about it? So yeah, now what do we do and it? yeah, that's, that's like I said, you got to do it, man. You got to, you got to, if you want change, you got to be the change. I mean, you said it right there, uh, man. So that's, man, that's beautiful. Man. Yeah. I, I, now I'm motivated because we have that. I mean, I'm in the Midwest. I'm in, I'm near Chicago. I'm in uh, Northwest Indiana, and yeah, it's still a problem. You would think in this day and age, 2019, with all our technology, with all our advances in construction, I mean, we're building fucking these 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 suburban you know communities like in a weekend but yet we can't find a way to find something for a veteran who is build a little home. house for a homeless yeah, community you know so it's 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 a problem it's 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 an ongoing problem here in the midwest and yeah it's just it takes people like tim to you know just take charge and just do it so well, yeah that's, I, that's the thing we, if you if you build stuff and give it away you you're not making a profit and that's what people are worried about yeah that they want to make and then there's you and then not to mention the upkeep and the if you build it they will come the uh the the you know the utilities and shit they got to be hooked up to it and who's they, paying they, who's they who's flipping the water and the electric tax bill. dollars at these entitlement programs that could all easily go into a program like that with the upkeep and, and... and you know what tim tim just said and hit, he hit it on the head it's like you know, you have you have these certain programs, but shit, if you don't know where to go ask for this shit, you that's know what it. I'm saying? That's just it. that's There's the shit problem. Out there. If if, yeah. if 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 I got a gang of homeless veterans and all I tell them is, hey, we'll go to the yeah. hospital, they're going to be like, hey, kiss my ass. I've been to the VA hospital. But if I sit back and say, OK, what programs do we actually have out here for homeless veterans other than the goddamn VA hospital? Yeah. And then when it's like, hey, well, do you want to do this or do you want to try this or and people are afraid to fucking try. I mean, right. e even even the panhandler, you know, I, I was looking at something on the news where this this woman got stabbed to death by her husband and <laughs> stepdaughter and the fuck? and they blamed it on a homeless person. And they're in fucking Texas. And oh, I'm like, geez. okay, once I once I hear homeless, I'm thinking first off, I'm thinking veterans. Secondly, I'm thinking, okay, well, yeah, a veteran can go to the VA or whatever the fuck, but these programs that are out there, nobody, it, it, they're like, they're swept underneath the rug, man. And it's like, who do we ask? Like, where do we go? Who do we ask? You know, start asking around and, and stuff like that. And Spaniard, I see it on your face, bro. I mean. Well, the thing that really, to me, screwed it up was that, that scam with that one it was in the news. The, the guy in Pennsylvania it with was a GoFundMe uh, thing. Remember yeah, that? the GoFundMe yeah. shit. Yeah, because yeah, exactly. now people are people don't want to donate now. They're like, fuck that. We, and, they don't and, want to trust. And I mean, why? I mean, I'll still sit up there and give out a couple bucks and do it. Well, I yeah, I'll do it personally. Like I, yeah. I don't know, the GoFundMe stuff kind of it, it scares me too. But I mean, if I know, I'll just go over there and, and just like like Tim says, if they need coats, I'll I'll call a couple places like, hey, what do you guys need? And I'll, we'll we'll get a collection together. So I mean, Absolutely. I think that's what really works for for now. I think. I don't yeah, know. For, it, it's gonna have to, you know. Yeah. And that's like on a large and small scale when you get into these um, charity organizations. Like when CEOs are taking hundred thousand dollar paychecks. You know how many of our donations <laughs> oh, take? It takes uh, how many of people Hell like yeah. us who are donating to that's pay true. just that CEO's salary? It's like it's absolutely ridiculous. So that was one of the reasons I am. Uh, was uh, such a good fit with Sub Zero Mission. Nobody takes any paychecks at all, so it's all good. all the donations that come in to Sub Zero go right out. And uh, I'm um, I'm also part of the team that goes out and physically hands stuff to um, the homeless, unsheltered homeless. Um, so we don't just serve veterans, but um, when a veteran's involved, then uh, I have the direct conversations with them. And you're absolutely right where they don't know the programs. A lot of these are the older generations who didn't get treated very well when they came Absolutely. out. So yep. Very jaded yep. by the government. So we're kind of at this point trying to bridge that gap and build a little bit of a relationship with them where I'm reaching my hand out as your brother. 
I'm not part of the government. I'm here going, right. hey, man, there's some new shit. I know the VA has sucked in the past, but you know what sucks fucking worse is sleep under, under, under a bridge. And mm-hmm. I think that at least we can approach it temporarily, get you out of here for the winter time, and then, you know, try to approach it Absolutely. that way uh, as more of a friend. But you're right. There's, there's a lot of new stuff, and um, there's a lot of new attempts, um, and it's just – it's a, it's a big puzzle like um, Born Identity where, you know, there's little pieces here and there and we yeah. all just have to be able to come together and put them in one big um, one big puzzle and solve the, the epidemic that we have. But we have had a little bit of a success this year, a couple of people that we've gotten off the streets. So, um, we and we do have, you know, the ones that when you're giving out free shit and you're like, hey, who's a veteran? Like all of a sudden everybody's a veteran. Yeah, everybody is <laughs> like, yeah. we're getting something special. Yeah. But you, you guys know you can talk to somebody within 30 seconds. And you're like, hey, what was your MOS? And you're like, <laughs> they what? give you some off the wall answer. You're like, okay. <laughs> um, so there, you, you funnel them. Um, but all the ones that Just you go through to get to the one that needs the help <laughs> is definitely worth it. Yeah, underwater range instructor. Underwater. <laughs> some of the same yeah. Years. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if uh, if we, well, I don't know. We have a lot of guys on the show. We don't have any women representation. But just to kind of throw this out there, because we do have a lot of women watching, it is International Women Appreciation Day. Oh, so shit. I just wanted to take this quick, not quick. Uh, I wanted to take this time just to kind of appreciate the women who watch our show and the women behind the show uh, that make this show happen. So uh, we want Those to thank the women. Those bitches. <laughs> oh, shit. See? Ladies and gentlemen, please direct all your complaints to Doc. Care of Doc. <laughs> yeah. Care of Doc. Black Sheep Bravo. Yeah. I appreciate it's... women. Yeah. How? Yeah, because last summer you had Ogre Estate Hose Matter. I mean, she yeah, you're going to. You had a, you had a, a, a slew, I thought. I mean, I mean a whole bottom slew bitch, a top bitch. Yeah, you had a lot going there on. There was right a few. Sure. Well, that got that the, 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 the herd has been thinned. Do you know what yeah. I am saying? What? No, never oh, mind. That, that was when go. Butters was a, a pimp in South Park. Oh, that yeah. With <laughs> do you know what I am saying? <laughs> yes, I know what you were so saying. So is this was? Here's my question though. Is this something that's new? Because I don't remember ever remembering an International Women's Day. International before. Women's Day. That's because men are keeping it down, man. And they're finally is getting that what word it is? out. Of course, it's always the man's shit. fault. Damn the man. Like, Me too. I don't know. It's mm. it's probably been around forever. It's probably just I don't know. Who the fuck cares? What what do they do? <laughs> well, what, know, what do you get for International cares. Women's Day? A card? Do they have a card? Like, is it a Hallmark type of thing? Or uh, they're always on the internet. I, I don't think so. I think it's. Well, a, I, I painted my wife's thing. office today. So does that count? You painted her what? Uh, yeah, I painted her. What office What did you paint her work? orifice? No, her <laughs> office at work. Oh my god. Jeez, man. You, I, was, I was being nice. Pennsylvania does it re- weird there. Okay. Yeah, but now, I um, I I will say this: we we ordered. This is how hip we are. I actually downloaded the uh, gr- not the Grubhub DoorDash app today, and we tested it out. And uh, holy shit, ten minutes, man! We had we had dinner served in ten minutes. I was shocked. Yeah, was America crazy. is That's just fast. getting more and more fucking yeah, lazy. Man. But okay, it is lazy. I mean, we got smartphones making us lot, dumb. Right? No, I think. Well, see, we ordered now. I'm probably going to butcher this, but this is how I say it, okay? I'm from Chicago. I call it a gyro. It was a gyro plate, and it was it was $11, and I left. It was free delivery, and I gave the guy a $3 tip. So, man, it worked out great, and it was so 10 you, minutes. So, wait a minute. You give this fucker a $3 tip, but I tell you to yeah. download a goddamn free app, and you're like, oh, I can't do that. I- well, no. I well, see, no. I, I go at Google. For I, I well, there, go to Google there's Play. space issues there. I mean, if, if it's like 40 Fuck gigs because it's This is 2019. Just going to get a little bit of cancer, Stan. <laughs> I just thought it was pretty cool. So what else can you order? Since some you can order. Like you know what? You can order, you can order anything. McDonald's. Oh, I know. That's what I'm that saying. Well, can you order online? You can yeah. order. You can order. You can alcohol. order it on your Every phone. You can be on the shitter. Celebration International Women's Day. Yeah. You can order a woman. Uh oh, here Ooh. you go. Will they will they deliver to coordinates? Uh oh, look I out. So if you're like in the middle of the woods, will they come out? Ooh, we have a like, I got your Burger Doc, King. You got something. Doc, we have a got comment something. from Jill. Uh oh. It says, Oh man, Doc, relax. Relax. We all know you're the biggest bitch. Wow. Oh. Oh. Jill pulled in. Oh. Here wow. you go. Here you go, Spaniard. Uh, we're gonna have some words later. Jill. After Don't after worry. after after the Socialist Party of America organized a Woman's Day on February 28, 1909, 
Oh, nine. In New York, the 1910 International Socialist Women's Conference suggested a Woman's Day be held annually. Uh-oh, I bet so this is like second wave feminism, that's, bitches. That's yeah. commie talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was Women's okay, Day so it for, has been around. So for commies. It in 09, and we socialist. figured it out in like <laughs> 2019. Okay. Oh, so, so, had to take yeah, they've been doing it, for, doing it for over 100 years there. Now, Tim, you, you said you have kids. Look at all 12, the changes they've got. <laughs> a 12-year-old and a 9-year-old. That's now, funny. do they are they involved in sports or anything and, or, like, hobbies? No. <laughs> oh, they're That's too busy passing out coats. Yeah, they're, they're, they're making patches. <laughs> Violet, those, those, labor laws, those labor laws going and shit. Yeah. We don't want to sit around and play <laughs> Fortnite. Their hobbies are shipping coats. and receiving. Exactly. There you go, man. Put them to work. No, he's talking about the labor laws. Oh, we got labor laws here, but their well, hobbies The only are. reason why I asked that, because, again, we're trying to tie in the whole women's thing, because I, I know we, we, we lucked out because none of my kids were athletic or talented. I'm not going to say talented, but, you know, they weren't into <laughs> they're that kind of stuff. They're intelligent. They're good looking. So <laughs> no, no. I didn't, we didn't have to worry about transportation. Oh, oh man! Who's going to pick up the yeah. We lucked out, so I'm, I'm glad no one has to do that. Because man, that, that's a lot of work, and that, that can cause a lot of a lot of tension in the car. So, for Women Appreciation Day, if you have to pick up kids, just bite bite the bullet and just do it. Let 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 the lady stay at home and relax. It's Friday. Wait, but that was today, though, right? Yeah, right. That was they can relax and make me a sandwich. That's yeah, because my wife, my wife went sandwich. to work, so <laughs> this, shit, this shit is over. Yeah. She went to work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sandwich maker. Right. Luckily, I got the uh, French-made outfit back from the cleaners. And, really? Uh, you know, that, that's going to... They make those in your size? <laughs> my size. <laughs> no. That's what she likes, so... It's appreciation, so Life that's what she wants. That's what she wants, cause, and she's going to appreciate that? She's, well, that's, hey, it's, it's her day. That's what she wants. Fuck so, yeah, that. anyway. So, any big plans? We have, uh, we're shipping, we're shipping. We're uh, we're heading into daylight sh- saving. Are we, what's the, what's, what's the, yeah, we're going is, back? This we, weekend. Spring forward. Spring right? forward. Spring forward. Spring forward, yeah. Yeah. So, that means, uh, that means the, the hotter months are coming, man, and that means we got to start getting ready for beach weather. So, uh. Uh, how's the uh, workouts coming along? Are we uh, we hitting it hard or? Uh... Yeah, hold on. Wait, let me. Wait, hold on. The PT's high or? Uh... Oh yeah, one. <laughs> uh, and, uh, two. Yeah. Uh, doing so that Doc, shit, do we you... uh, do we have any any other segments tonight? Anything special tonight? We do not have anything else. Roger that. Any uh, any last comments? I know um, last week we didn't get a chance to go around uh, with with our. With our hot topics, does anybody have anything they wanted to share before we uh, do final thoughts? It's it's uh, March Madness, and since this is Women Appreciation Month, or I'm sorry, Women Appreciation Day. Oh my God, who the hell cares? <laughs> this fucking Rajesh. You know what? He's got. Yeah. I, I can't figure Rajesh out. Rajesh is our likes, intern, Tim. He's, I don't know uh, if he likes sports. I don't know. <laughs> he if doesn't he like likes women. I don't know what the fuck Rajesh likes and shit. He just. He likes I think he's tired of being an intern. That's that's what he's tired of. He wants to get paid. What? <laughs> yeah. Join the crowd. He don't get paid. Of course not. Do no, any of us get paid? Don't get paid. No, I just, don't get paid. Oh, shit, I'm not even getting paid. <laughs> I mean, just saying, like a, exactly. He don't get paid, so mm. fucking why should he get paid if we don't? <laughs> but it's March Madness, so okay. Anybody, you got your you got your ten teams picked out already. I don't I don't have my ten, but I did see uh, Central Florida has a guy on their squad. He's six four. Mm-hmm. He wears a, a size twenty two shoe. No, I'm sorry, he's six seven. Where his size mm-hmm. 22 shoe wingspan is 8.4 feet, and that's just stupid. And when he when he stands straight up and holds his hand up, he, he's like five stupid? inches over the. That's he's like five inches double over the Hold on, Doc. Why is that stupid? That that's his stats. He, he, he it's not like he got <laughs> surgery. It's like to his get wingspan. His... I mean, it's like he. That's what he grew into. Yeah, that's him. That's his biology, man. How yeah, is that stupid? Eight, eight feet. Ridiculous. Sir, you yeah. need to be smaller. That's, that's the world like is not equipped for you. Like the you need to have your, a driveway. your arms, your, your humerus has to be shortened. Yeah. I'm sorry. Just just cut them off at the knees. We're going to no. shave down your b- arm bones. Right. Hey, my my well, son, my it son is, though, uh, he, hit me, he hit me with a question. Oh. And I was going to – actually, I got – you know what? I'm glad, I, I'm glad I brought this up. I got two questions. My first question is what my son hit me up with. He says, if you had to choose – between your arms and your legs, which one would you lose? Which one? Legs. 
legs. And Doc. Oh yeah, legs all day. Legs. Hands are way too important. Yes, for spanking it. Oh yeah. <laughs> How are you gonna? You, go. you can't beat off with your feet. Or, or or a claw. Although I knew I knew some women who were pretty talented at that. That's different. That's different. Well, I'm not that's doing it. That's so. that's somebody else. You can do that from fucking four feet yeah. away. So well, that's what I mean. With, or eight feet here with your with legs. your with your dude from Central Florida. Apparently. With your arms, with your. He's eight got eight point four feet wingspan. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I just got the uh, I just got the light here. We are going to start wrapping this up. So we are it's going to go around the table stop. for final thoughts. And this week we're going to start off with well, Tim. What we do every uh, every week is we do a segment called Final Thoughts, and it's the, it's just a quick uh, wrap up of our final thought for the week or going into the weekend, what have you. So I'm going to have you go second since you haven't seen the show before. I'm going to start with Doc first. Uh, with his what? final thought, and then we'll come over to Tim. So, Doc, take us away with our uh, our tonight's final thoughts. You know, I don't really have much tonight. Be smart about being stupid. Drink them if you got them, and Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> right on. There you go from the PA, Doc. <laughs> Thanks again. And now our guest for tonight, Tim from PatchOps.com, your final thought. Well, um, obviously, keep me in mind if you guys are ever looking for some custom patches trademark license some marine corps stuff um but i can do everything um uh one thing that my grandma always told me out there is uh this world can suck and it can get you down but when you can't find the good be the good so do something good um and, and build upon that positive so check out the subzero mission.org that's subzero mission.org um but get involved in your local communities and do something good that's my final thoughts Right on. That was beautiful. All right. <laughs> Double O, your final thought. Well, it's almost like going after a devil dog, but I'm going to Yeah, that was that shot. Good. That, that, uh, this is, not, not even this is Women Appreciation Day. So, fellas out there, uh, ask your spouse or significant other or whoever, or any woman, grandma, whoever, fuck, I don't care, aunt, when does a woman reach her sexual peak? That's my final thought of the day. Wait, was that a question or is that a statement? A l- little bit of both. I it's a thought. Yeah, it's a thought. Here's, it's my here's final the answer. thought. Who the hell cares? Well, I, was, I mean, I was waiting. I thought you would, Ogre. Hit, oh, I thought oh, Rizzers would hit the button, but I mean, but that's my final thought. Hey, keep it, keep it straight. Keep it one thousand. Drink them if you got them. Hey, we on here every Friday. Come fuck with us. There you go. Thank you, Double O from the Nap, and we're gonna go over. Too stately. Uh, Ogre. Physical. Physical. <laughs> physical. You take your. You take your. Physical. You take your physical. Okay. Ogre, final thought. Take us out to this beautiful oh, weekend. That. Yeah, yeah Tim were. said that Sub Zero one more time. I keep thinking about fucking Mortal Kombat and shit. But I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, fatality. That's the very first thing that popped in my head, yeah. Get over <laughs> here. Was that, the other, that was the that other was Scorpion. Scorpion. That was Scorpion, yeah. yeah. We'll have to dress up like that for Halloween this year. All of us dressed up like our Mortal Kombat. Oh, I'm totally down for that. I'm sure. Johnny Cage. Okay. You Ooh, would you be. He's a fan. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, final yeah. thought. I'm glad there's I'm glad there's people like Tim in the world. It makes me feel good that people are out there actually like doing shit and helping people. So you know, I don't have to worry and I don't have to do it. So good job, Tim. And, good job. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> What do we got? We got March Madness and we got St. Patrick's Day coming up. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is another uh, fucking amateur hour, just like uh, New Year's Eve. So control yourself, kids. It's not, uh, you know, you don't have to drink all the beer in one sitting. And, uh, False. That's really. <laughs> or do it. Drink yourself to death, <laughs> please. One less yeah, idiot. That's right. <laughs> nice to see you. It'll uh, save my social security. That's right. You'll be yeah. saved by some, <laughs> some passer. Some some nice guy like Tim will come by when you're passed out in the street and put a coat on you, and you'll be okay. For that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other than that, you know, March Madness, this is uh, we're, we're closing in on one of my favorite times of the year. You got the end of basketball, the end of college basketball, anyway. Women's got, basketball, you know, of course. Yeah, yeah, who the hell cares about women's basketball, Spaniard? I, I, I know it's International Women's Day, but that doesn't change my thoughts one iota on women's basketball. Although, guys, it's International Women's Day, so you know what that means for the misses there. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, you got to do it. Just uh, there we go. Take get it in there and take care of business. And uh, other than that, baseball's right around the corner. 
watch Monday Motivation. I'll be on this week if I don't have to act like a little bit of work again. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we'll see you Monday. At I'm seven. tired. Take it easy. I wasn't tired. I was, I was. I was. He's a hardworking guy. Well, yeah. Well, well not there really. you go. All right. Well, well there you uh, have it. Each other. There it is. Oh, and don't sweat the small stuff. You forgot. Always. You forgot your tagline. Always wear your vest. There you Always go. <laughs> uh, all right. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we did not have Siren or Double Dog tonight, but uh, hopefully they'll be here next week. Um, thank you guys again, Double Dog and Siren. Right? That what I that said I said double right? Dog. Yeah. I said say? Double. Double you dog. Said you said double. Oh, I said double dog. Maybe I did. Yeah, my bad. Anyway. How many anyway, glasses have you had? Another, what, was that, what was that other broad's name? <laughs> Is she going to be on next week? Some broad, right? <laughs> anyway, I'd like to thank Tim from PatchOps.com yeah, Patch for coming on the show tonight. Yay, thank you. Uh, don't forget to check out um, all of the great things that he does on his site and, of course, the sub zero, or sub, subzero.org, right? That's your mission.org. Sub-zero mission. That's a little uh, trickier so, than Marine. Yeah, yeah <laughs> a little bit. It. Um, so, yes, uh, thank you guys for all your support and the, uh, the the questions and comments. Keep them coming. Again, we are still a work in progress. So if you know of any veteran organization that would like to be highlighted or discussed here on the show, be sure to send them our way. And uh, don't forget to check out Monday Motivation this Monday night. Um, have a great weekend. This is Maybe. the Spaniard. Keeping it tight. Have a great weekend. Bye. Oh, Bye. you touched my ta la la. Bye. Be nice. Mm, my ding ding dong. I don't give a shit. He didn't left. waste no time, did he? Yeah, he said, Deuces. He said he had to go <laughs> home and go to sleep. Take a fucking nap. I gotta get to bed. It's late. Adios. <laughs>